what's going on guys harsh here back in the video and today i'm unboxing the hogan m series 1 to 200 scale f14 tomcat and uh, this is a pretty nice model to have it has expandable wings and all sort of stuff so here is a bit of a history about this aircraft i'm not going to go into that it is already on the internet but what's not on the internet is the quality so let's just see what this actually is and if you are looking to buy this the exact model number is 6641 so just google hogan wing 6641 and you will be able to find this particular model so as all the 1 to 200 scale it comes in this nice blister packing and you can just lift the top portion out and away and then you have the, your direct look at the aircraft itself so now let's lift it out and be very careful if you are because uh, I don't think this is a pretty sturdy model and then you can have a closer look at this model so as stated before it is a expandable wing model so if you just hold these wings and spread them out they will go as wide as possible I think this is the maximum they can go so a pretty nice feature and I think the Tomcat is known for that and uh, if you want to retract them you can just push them back inside and they are coupled with each other so there is no chance of taking one wing out and leaving one inside you have to take them both out at the same time now let's look at the details so pretty nicely detailed cockpit we have over here and the paint job is absolutely spot on I think it is very nicely detailed we have the rescue options as well with the all the other logo as well and the landing gear does not move at all same with the back wheels and these are all plastic not rubberized so i think this is the next thing that they can improve with these models and uh, at the bottom you can see it is fully loaded with some missiles and drop tanks as well so as you can see we have uh, two missiles i think yeah two missiles on the wing then two drop tanks right beneath the engine intakes and then two missiles or bombs i don't know the particular name but uh, i'm sure you guys will be able to know what these particular bombs are pretty nicely painted and they are pretty symmetric i think in all the sides at the back as well and we have a rocket tucked up here and same goes on the other side with these missiles and all and if we look at the engine intakes you can see they are they do have a bit of a gap i think so yeah from here you can see uh, there is a gap in between the wings and the engine intakes then if we move to the landing gear covers we can see it is also very nicely detailed with all the red markings and the white paint inside them and unfortunately the landing gears are not removable they are permanently merged with the model itself so this is also a step to improve which in which we can have removable landing gears and put it on a display stand like the like the ones in 172 skills now if you move on to the top you can see that the panel lines and all the rivet joints are pretty well detailed with all the ailerons and elevators and rudders with a nice paint job so as you can see the number is also written over here the number 200 with all the lights on both the ends as you can see and also the and if you look through the cockpit we can see we have a uh, two seats and I don't think we'll be able to see much detail inside the cockpit but uh, what I can tell you is that all it is I can see that is the seat with its uh, slight is slightly brownish color and we have the main control panel on the front of the seats which is not that much detail it does not even have a joystick that which controls the aircraft so cockpit details are non-existent pretty much but uh, at this size it is pretty much what we can ask for the model itself is pretty heavy and it has a nice gray matte finish to it so it will gather uh, quite a bit of dust if you leave it out in the open and it will be a bit tough to clean it because it is a rough surface so keep it in a closed container or something like that then if you look at the back we have two engine nozzles and uh, here I think the Hogan wings have an advantage over uh, Herpa. Their nozzles are 
not that detailed compared to Hogan Wings and uh, these nozzles look pretty good I think in my opinion I don't know some people may think that the Harpa Wings have more, more detailed nozzles so it's up to them and at the back we also have the tail hook so there it is guys the 1 to 200 scale f14 by hogan wings and uh, pretty nice detailed model and for the price and the size of this aircraft i don't think there it there is much we can add to it so thanks for watching this video guys please like subscribe and share and i will see you all in the next video and the